This is the last example on data blending and regular expressions on Google Looker Studio. With this use case, you will be able to do the most important use case of marketing, calculating your return investment. And you will see the challenges to do it. Let's say I want to know my profit. To know my profit, I need to understand my total revenue and my total cost. The challenge, of course, is that I need to blend multiple data sources where this revenue and this cost are reported. And also, I need to segment this data across all these data sources. For that, we use regular expressions. For blending, we use the data blending on Looker Studio that you have already seen. Now, I will start explaining how you will do the exercise. First, as we have always done, we will take the initial data source, let's say meta ads, and I will segment my data with tagging. Remember that we tag the brands depending that if these brands are present in our naming conventions, in our campaign names. So as we have done before, we create a conditional for Facebook ads data that says if the campaign name contains Volkswagen, then tag, uh, then tag accordingly. If it contains Uber, tag Uber, and so on. With that, we create this column or this dimension called brand. It is a custom dimension that I can use across any data source. The second table I will create besides this one with meta ads data will be this Google Sheets. I will create a Google Sheets that I use that breaks down by date and also by brand so the dates can be repeated. I will show you how the Google Sheet looks like and I will give you a template in the comments of this video. So let me show what I have here. For this Google Sheet, I have a column with date, a column with brand, and I have metrics like cost of goods sold. Or for instance, if we don't have a connector like Amazon Ads, you can import it as well on Google Sheets. If, for instance, Power Metrics doesn't have a particular connector that you need, maybe you can import and blend the data through Google Sheets as I am doing in this exercise. I will explain this blending I just created. So let me explain. I am breaking down by brown my total ad spend, my total cost of goods sold, my Amazon ad and my total aggregated cost because all of these items are cost. Ad spend, cost of goods sold, and also Amazon ads, they are all expenses. And finally, I calculated the total cost. How the join works, as it has always worked. I will go to edit, and you will see that I am blending by brand, the ad spend on Facebook, and the other metrics from Google Sheets. Now, let me explain you the, um, the Google Sheet. Here, I need to add a date range because by default, when I connect Google Sheets, Looker Studio doesn't understand what is the date range. I need to identify it. Now, I will go to a Google Sheet. Let me go there. And this is how you will structure this table. You need to add a column with the date to match the date and also a column with the brand or with the product. As you can see, I might need to repeat the dates. For instance, I have sales for Valiant on January 1st and also I have sales for AIG for January 1st. So make sure that maybe you need to repeat dates. But this is the way to segment your cross-channel data by creating these tags on your Google Sheet. 